The storyline of the animated film Pokemon Indigo League Part 1 Satoshi Meets Pikachu. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This time I will summarize the storyline of the Pokemon Indigo League Episode 1 film. This film tells how Satoshi met Pikachu and went on his adventures until now. At the beginning of the film, we show a 10-year-old boy named Satoshi, he lives in Pallet Town or Masara Town. He dreams of becoming a Pokemon trainer. Where when he reaches the age of 10 he can choose his starter Pokemon in Professor Okido's laboratory. Satoshi plans to go on an adventure to achieve his dream of becoming a Pokemon master. Suddenly he was surprised by his mother who said that it should be time for the little child to sleep. Like Satoshi said, he was too excited for his trip tomorrow to sleep. His mother then changed the TV channel which showed Professor Okido explaining the starter Pokemon which consisted of Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle. The professor recommends checking the complete profiles of the Pokemon before selecting them. Satoshi was increasingly impatient waiting for tomorrow. Satoshi then dreamed that he chose Bulbasaur as his starter Pokemon but in an instant it changed again to Squirtle. It seemed like he was still confused about what Pokemon he would choose. The next morning Seithasi had not yet woken up and this time he dreamed of Charmander. Before he caught him, Satoshi woke up from his sleep to see that the sun was shining very brightly. Which meant he was very late arriving at the Okita laboratory. He quickly headed there, hoping that at least one of the starters was still left, he could see that many people had arrived in the laboratory. Satoshi accidentally hit a child. The boy knows Satoshi and introduces himself as Shigeru or Jerry, the grandson of Professor Okido. In addition, he mocked Satoshi because he had already taken his starter Pokemon and didn't want to tell Seithasi about it. Just like Seithasi, Shigeru also has a dream of becoming a Pokemon master and in fact he is one step ahead of Seithasi on his adventure as a Pokemon trainer. Not long after that, Satoshi met Professor. He said Seithasi was late but still allowed him to enter. Unfortunately, when Satoshi got inside he found that all three starter Pokemon had been taken, a second later and the consequences will be like this. Seithasi was disappointed because he didn't get a Pokemon, but the professor said there was still one more Pokemon he had, although this Pokemon was a bit problematic. Pikachu appeared because of its cute shape. When Seithasi decided he would take Pikachu, Pikachu suddenly electrocuted him. This Pokemon is an electric mouse that is very shy and rarely interacts with humans. The professor explained that the professor then handed over the Pokeball and its Pokédex to support Satoshi's needs for adventuring. Outside, his mother was waiting for Satoshi to bring her bag and items for her trip. Satoshi introduced Pikachu, the Pokémon he had chosen. When Satoshi was about to put it in the Pokéball Pikachu refused by bouncing his tail. His mother was very happy that Seithasi had a Pokemon, but she also admitted that Pikachu was strange which made Pikachu electrocute everyone there except the professor. Long story short, following Professor Seithasi's advice, tie Pikachu using a rope and wear gloves to protect him from Pikachu's shock. Before the journey goes any further, Seithasi assures that he really likes Pikachu and tries to make sure of his relationship with Pikachu, who still doesn't care about him. Satoshi said that Pokemon should go into Pokeballs as stated in the Pokédex. However, it turns out that there are also some Pokemon that don't like small spaces. He was still trying to convince Seithasi to take off his ties and gloves. Not long after, a Pidgey passed by, one of the Pokemon that is easy to catch. Seithasi orders Pikachu to help him. But Pikachu still didn't want to obey his orders and instead climbed the tree. Then Satoshi will catch it himself, after all he wants to become a Pokemon master. He managed to put Pidgey into the Pokeball, but after that the Pidgey came out again because the Pokemon had to be weakened before being caught. Pikachu laughed at Seithasi's failure. Not giving up, now Satoshi sneaks up to Pidgey wearing his pajamas and smothers the Pokemon but Pidgey manages to escape after launching an attack on Satoshi. Then Rotata steals food from Satoshi's bag followed by Pikachu who laughs at Satoshi even more. Seithasi continued his hunt when he accidentally threw a stone at a Spearow. Different from Pidgey, this Pokemon is quite rude and often attacks humans and other Pokemon, so Spearow started launching its attacks. Not only Seithasi now he is also targeting Pikachu. Pikachu Thundershock defeated the Pokemon now he even summoned his flock to chase them both. 
The Pokemon injured Pikachu, Seithasi then carried Pikachu and vowed to protect him trying to run away from Spiro's attack. Seithasi without hesitation jumped off the cliff. Not far from there a girl named Kasumi was seen fishing, she pulled the fishing line and actually pulled Seithasi out of the water. Seeing Pikachu's condition, Kasumi slapped Seithasi for neglecting to look after her Pokemon. As soon as possible, Pikachu must be taken to the Pokemon Center. But the Spearow that had been chasing them had now arrived. Here by borrowing Kasumi Satoshi's bicycle and then leaving. Satoshi asks Pikachu to survive before reaching the Pokemon Center from behind. Spearow attacks brutally, causing Satoshi to fall from his bicycle. The only hope is for Pikachu to get into the Pokeball. Seithasi put down his Pokeball while he was about to block the spiral, sacrificing himself for Pikachu. Instead the Pikachu jumped and Thundershock chased the Pokemon away. After the situation was safe, Satoshi and Pikachu had succeeded in defeating Spiro. Suddenly in the sky a Pokemon that was still unknown appeared in the sky. Satoshi then continued his journey to the Pokemon Center. Satoshi has arrived in Takiwa City where the Pokemon Center is located. Before he reached the place he was stopped by an officer named Junsa. Satoshi said he had to quickly deliver his Pokemon to the Pokemon Center. To get through Seitha C you have to show your ID first. Without it he could have been accused of being a Pokemon thief. Satoshi admitted to coming from Pallet Town just like the children who had just arrived in this town before, said the Junsa officer. Satoshi realized that Shigeru had already preceded him. The Junsa officer then showed that a Pokédex resembling Satoshi could be used as an ID, indicating that it was true that Seithasi was a trainer. With this Satoshi was allowed to pass. They went to the Pokémon Center leaving Kasumi carrying her bicycle which had been damaged by Seithasi. From above a hot air balloon appeared from the rocket team. They took wanted posters stating they were the most wanted fugitives. Their goal in coming here was to look for rare Pokémon, so they continued their search. On the other hand, Junsa officers and Seitha C have arrived at the Pokemon Center. Junsa officers tell Nurse Joy that Pikachu is seriously injured. Treatment must be done immediately. Pikachu was taken to the Ur. Nurse Joy scolded Satoshi for forcing his Pokemon to fight in impossible conditions. Now Satoshi can only pray that everything goes smoothly. The Junsa officer gave permission to go home while Nurse Joy entered the room to look after Pikachu, leaving Seitha C alone. Satoshi waited a long time, after which he decided to contact his mother to tell her about the situation he was experiencing now. His mother advised Satoshi that he had to study more if he wanted to become a Pokemon master and then ended the call. Then Satoshi saw a picture of four Pokemon and one of the Pokemon was the one he saw before. The phone rang again, which turned out to be Professor Okido. Got news from his mother that Satoshi was now in Pirigan City. Good first step Seitha C for reaching the Pokemon Center. The professor would be very happy if other trainers who were leaving could be successful like this. Then the professor asked how many Pokemon Satoshi had caught, unfortunately Seitha C hadn't gotten anything so the professor was disappointed. But also Satoshi claimed to see a rare Pokemon but the professor said it was a legendary Pokemon that had never been discovered which only appeared in 100 or 1000 years. But Satoshi was sure that the Pokemon was very similar to the one he saw. However, the professor ended the call because he wanted to eat first. After that Kasumi also arrived at the Pokemon Center. She was very angry because Seitha C had damaged her bicycle. Seitha C apologizes and will change it another time. Now he was very worried about Pikachu's condition, finally Pikachu came out even though he had recovered a little. He still had to rest here for a while. Then Seitha C will accompany Pikachu by his side. For once, Kasumi was forced to let Satoshi go. Then an announcement was heard that something had been detected approaching the Pokemon Center. That something turned out to be a hot air balloon belonging to the rocket team which was right above the Pokemon Center. They broke in using two of their Pokemon. Behind a cloud of smoke then Team Rocket introduced themselves. Musashi Kojira and NYA aim to catch Pokemon, there is no need to worry because what they are after is not Pokemon like Pikachu but only rare Pokemon. Of course, the Pokemon Center is not the right place to look for them because it is only filled with sick Pokemon, but it looks like if you look there might be one or two rare Pokemon in this place. The Rocket Team then ordered Gothing and Ikin to attack. Where Seitha C, Kasumi and Nurse Joy managed to escape into a room filled with Pokeballs. The rocket team then cut off the electricity but there were lots of Pikachu inside which turned the electricity back on. 
Nurse Joy then transferred the Pokeball to a Pokemon Center in another city until the Brazilian Rocket Team also broke into the room. Seithasi picked up the fallen Pokeball, used it to fight Team Rocket but before they had time to fight the Pokemon ran away in fear after seeing Ekans. Satoshi then threw the Pokeball again and it turned out it was empty, which turned out to be all filled and empty Pokeballs mixed up in this room. Next Seithasi let out a Rattata which the Pokemon also ran away in fear. Kasumi then intervenes to confront the Rocket Team ordering Satoshi and Nurse Joy to escape. Kasumi takes out Golden to block the Rocket Team's movements. Next, the Rocket Team chases Satoshi again. Pikachu waking up makes other Pikachu come. The collected Pikachu then electrocutes the Rocket Team, leaving NYA Su alone. Pikachu has now recovered he needs more energy to release the electricity, so Satoshi pedals the bicycle which causes the electricity to flow more rapidly through Pikachu's body. Thunder Shock managed to blow up the Rocket Team so they had to retreat for now. Starting today the Rocket Team will continue to target Satoshi's Pikachu. The next day Nurse Joy reported to the other Nurse Joy that the Pokeball transfer had been successful. So Seitha C, Pikachu and Kasumi then continued their journey to the next city.